Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Kumusta po tayong lahat? Sana okay tayong lahat. And again, I'm Richelle. So, I'm go I'm sharing videos about working in rare jobs. So, if you're new in my channel, please consider subscribing and if you're interested in working from home, this is a good chance for you to try rare jobs. So, I re I really recommend rare job because um hindi siya stressful. So, makikita talaga natin na yung mga reviews if we are going to search sa webs as a computer makikita natin yung mga positive reviews nila na hindi sila masyadong stricto tsaka hindi masyadong malaki yung mga penalties and rare job is very considerate yung mga support they are very considerate so it's very easy to work in rare job it's uh, very parang relaxing ganyan hindi ka mas stress talaga okay so today pala um is I'm going to share videos on how to, or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, in my video today, I'm going to share some tips on how to increase your bookings, okay? So, lalong-lalo na sa mga baguhan. Um, I hope these tips will help. And by the way, thank you so much sa mga nag-subscribe. Thank you sa mga nagme-message. And thank you very much sa mga nanonood ng videos ko. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm so happy na some of you were able to pass the pass your interview and demo lesson because sabi ninyo you got some tips, some tips from my videos. So it really means a lot. Thank you very much. I will do my best to reply to your messages. So you can always message me on Facebook or you can write your comments below. Okay. So anyway, going back to our topic. So um, ngayon, so papano nga ba tayo mag-increase ng booking? So sa rare job is a uh, booking system. Okay. So booking system siya. Si estudyante yung mamimili ng 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 teachers nila. So, sa mga baguhan, madaming nagme-message na sinasabi nila na masyad, na medyo matumal daw yung estudyante. Uh, parang nag-open sila ng slots pero medyo konti yung nag-book. Okay, yes, that really happens. Lalo na nga kung baguhan pa lang tayo. So, we have to make sure na yung mga uh, we have to make sure na first is yung yung ano natin, profile natin. We have to make sure that our pro, uh, profile is catchy. Okay? Kasi, si student is scroll niya yan sa website. Mag-scroll sila, titingin sila ng mga tutors nila. Okay? So, um, importante na yung profile picture natin is catchy, attractive, parang looks reliable. Ganun ba? Pwede ba yun? Trustworthy? <laughs> so, parang... Um, Maging ano din, ay ay ayusin natin yung profile picture natin. So, kung meron kang blazer, okay, blazer, you can use that to take a photo. Tapos, yun na lang yung gamitin mo. And make sure na yung background is clear. Okay? Clear white background. So, yun yung tinatanggap ni Rare Job. And, of course, we have to um, smile. Ipakita din naman natin na we are friendly. Kasi, syempre, gusto nila na mag makapag-aral uh, ng English sa na hindi na stress dahil sa masungit yung teacher nila, di ba? So, yun, we have to make sure that we have to do good in our profile pictures. Next is yung self-introduction natin. So, di ba, mag meron tayong greet and introduction. So, ganun, dapat ayusin din natin yun. We have to make sure, assure the students that we are very much willing to help them. So, ako, ang nilagay ko doon is, of course, I want, I, I will do my best to help or to, to help you learn English using simple and, and effective ways. Okay? So, kailangan simple lang din yung pagtuturo mo. Hindi yung napaka-complicated mong magturo. E di, syempre, masyadong mas lalong na-confuse yung estudyante mo. So, yun. Yun ang unang-una. Yung profile uh, profile natin. Profile picture and of course, our self-introduction. Okay, next. We have to make sure that we open in advance. Ito daw sa mga pinaka-importante. We have to open in advance. So, ang ginagawa ko, yung baguhan pa lang ako, nung baguhan pa lang kasi ako, as I've mentioned in my previous video, fully book na ako naman na lagi. Kasi that was 2016. So, nag-start ako sa Rare Job 2016. So, siguro medyo mas konti pa yung estudyante. Uh, I'm sorry, yung mga tutors. Kaya, parang fully book na lagi. Um, pero ngayon, ang dami-dami ng estudyante at ang dami-dami na rin tutors. So, uh, pero sa mga baguhan, just to prepare you to become uh, an effective tutor, medyo, me, siguro medyo limited yung, ano, yung mga estudyante na 
nagbubook ganyan pero you can increase your bookings tama don't be discouraged okay so yan uh, yan open open in advance so medyo natatakot tayo minsan na mag-open in advance tiba kasi syempre isipin natin hala baka mag brown out o di kaya baka magkaroon ng internet connection problem ganyan so don't think about those things kasi syempre pag sinasabi mo baka mag brown out baka magkaroon ng internet problem so para ina-attract mo naman yung negativity diba na ha, na it will it, it will be it will happen so uh, just think positively saka tsaka sa amin kasi good thing is yung ano na, namin electric provider namin nagpo-post sila weekly ng scheduled power interruption so you have to we are checking it and then makikita mo doon if course if merong scheduled interruption sa area nyo then uh, huwag ka mag-open ng lesson sa araw na yun. Ganyan. Uh, so, if it's good then, if you can try to search if they have social account, social media account, yung mga electric providers natin, or ninyo, di makikita nyo doon yung mga posts nila. Or you can contact them too. If, um, syempre kung may internet connection ka, di ba, may landline, so you can call them using your landline. So, isearch natin. You pwede, pwede nyo tawagan sila mag-inquire, ganyan, kung merong scheduled power interruption before you open your lessons para at least kampante din kayo. Okay? So, yun yung ginagawa ko. Uh, I check it every week and then I open in advance. So, that's very, very important. Kasi kung ngayon ka lang, kunyari ngayong araw ka magtuturo, tas i-open mo lang ngayon yung lesson slots. Naku, napaka ano ng ng percentage, napaka low ng chance na mapubok yung lesson mo kung baguhan ka. Unless, ba, matagal ka ng tutor tapos may mga regular students ka na so then of course ma ma uh, ma bubukla agad agad yung yung lesson slot lesson slot na ino in open mo so yun yung isang tip ko we can communicate with our electric providers at yung kasi rare job guys um, if there is an emergency power interruption okay they are considerate okay so if there is a scheduled power inter uh, I'm sorry, an emergency power interruption, biglang nag uh, nag blackout sa area nyo, you can contact them. You can send them a message. Meron silang contact information sa website, okay? Binibigyan nila yun. Accessible yun sa website. Nandun lahat. You can scroll the website. It's very very helpful if you if you will browse the website para mak makita nyo yung mga important information na pwedeng makatulong pa sa atin. So, meron silang cellphone number doon, my globe, my smart, my TM. So, my, my choices ka. So, you can send a message na you can request them to close or cancel your lesson. So, for example, syempre, pag nag-blackout na, di ba, wala ka naman ng internet din. Um, so, hindi mo na siya ma-close or maka-cancel sa end mo. So, you can send them a message. Okay? And then, they will respond. They will send you a, a, a text message to confirm that your request has been processed. Okay? And, um, Ang, ang kagandahan din, if it's an emergency power interruption, tapos meron kang, meron yung post yung, yung ano nga, yung, or makakakuha ka ng record sa electric provider mo na may scheduled power interruption sa oras na yun, or sa araw na yun, tapos meron ka mga uh, klase na hindi na klase na, na kinancel, at saka umabsent ka, to avoid penalty, at saka para din malesen ma matanggal yung absent mo pwede kang mag-send ng is pwede mong isend yung yung document kay rare job through email and guys they are very considered just make sure na tama naman yung mga sinisend mong ano sinisend mong information and we have to make sure that we are going to do the right process okay so if you don't know the process on how to do that you can send a text uh, a, a message i chat niyo ang rare job support sa website natin to get a, a reply immediately okay ngayon pa lang habang ano habang meron kayong internet connection or meron para habang hindi natin nararanasan tong mga to then it's better to be prepared so you can send them a message message to, to, to ask what's the process or after then pwede din namang after the blackout you can still send them a message to ask what's the format and what's the process so of course hindi ko pwedeng sabihin dito di ba kasi confidential yun so pwede nyo kunin yung information from tutor support 
they are very much willing to give the information you need. So don't be shy to send them a message. Sa website natin, nandun, nandun yung chat support nila na, you, na nagre-reply sila agad-agad. Bilis nilang mag-reply doon, okay? So, pwedeng i-consider yun ni Rare Job. So, very considerate sila. Tatanggalin nila yung absent mo, tsaka walang penalty. Okay, di ba? Very good yun. So, don't be afraid to open schedule. You open your schedule in advance. Okay, that's one one of my tips. My third one is, it's all. this is also very important. My third tip is, of course, we have to do good in our lessons. We have to be, kahit na pagod na pagod na tayo, antok na antok na tayo, we, had, we, don't, we should not show this. We should not uh, show it to our students. Okay, para at least makikita nila na willing kang magturo. Okay, so hindi naman sa pagmamayabang ha, pero I, just to encourage and to share my experience, I have a lot of students who are saying that um, they booked my lesson because uh, their friend recommended me. Okay, so parang sinasabi nila na I booked your lesson because my coworker or my friend or my brother uh, recommended you to me. He said that you are a good teacher. So, di ba nakakataba ng puso yung mga ganon? So, nakakakuha ka ng regular students because of your performance, the way you teach them. So, that's because of you, okay? So, hindi hindi dahil ang tumal naman ng estudyante sa webs ay sa rare job. Parang ganito naman pala. Hindi po ganun. Parang it's, it, it's, it's not because um, of rare job, okay? It depends also sa performance mo. It depends sa gagawin mo, yung mga techniques mo kung paano ka makakuha ng madaming estudyante. So, as for me, kahit na nag-open ako ng, kunyari, nakakaka-open ko lang yung lesson ko 30 minutes before, before, mabubok siya agad-agad kasi I already have a lot of regular students. So, ganun din siya, guys. Ako din nag-start din ako from the basic. So, you can also, you can also um, get a lot of regular students in the long run. So, don't be discouraged. Okay? So, yun, we have to do good in our lessons. Gawin natin yung mga, um, isipin naman natin na nabayad naman tayo sa 25-minute lesson na yun. So, kahit ano pa yung behavior ng student mo, as long as yung hindi ka naman niya binabastos o hindi ka na, hindi naman siya, um, hindi naman siya nag, yun yung hindi kanya binabastos or kinokurs, ganyan dyan. Well, wa, wala ka namang ano, hindi mo naman dapat na, dapat mo namang i-treat i ng mabubti o ng maayos yung estudyante mo. So, kahit na antok na antok ka na, ganun. Kasi it's your job. That's your job. Okay? So, sila din naman. Pagod na pagod sila galing trabaho. Ang mga estudyante natin, um, mostly, they are having their lessons before they go to work and after go after work so pagod na pagod din sila after work and they also as i've mentioned they go to the gym after their work so um antok na antok na rin sila pagod na pagod sila kaya gutom sila pero they're doing their best to still uh, attend the lesson kasi gustong gusto talaga nilang matuto so in return since bayad naman tayo we also have to do our job Okay, so, ayun, ma-appreciate ma ma yun ng estudyante natin. Tapos, yun nga, i-recommend ire kanila sa ibang estudyante, ganyan. So, maganda din naman na may regular students tayo, di ba? At least, hindi mo na alam, hindi ka na mag adjust kung paano mo ulit i-approach yung estudyante na yun. Kasi kung regular student mo na siya, makakabisado mo na siya. Alam mo na kung paano mo siya kakausapin. Okay? And don't be afraid. Yun. Um, don't be afraid to open your lessons. So, sa mga baguhan, if uh, you are still applying or you're still, you haven't opened your first lesson yet, go lang. Kasi sayang naman yung oras. And sa... Uh, don't be afraid with your tutoring notes kasi as I've mentioned sa last video ko, you are given 48 hours to complete your tutoring notes. So, sa website, pwede, mong is mag -save, pwede kang mag-save ng draft doon. So, kung hindi mo matapos agad, you can save it there and then you can fix it once you have time na. Okay? Para at least, hindi ka mag-spend ng madaming time sa paglalagay ng tutoring notes eh, na-consume na siya. So, parang, at least kung the draft, isi-save mo na lang siya sa draft, then, you can do it later. At least, makakapag-classy ka pa. Diba? Um, well, 
preferably nga you can you have to do that yung within the 5 minute break after the lesson pero kung hindi nga talaga kaya you rare job naman is uh, very considerate as i've mentioned so you are given 48 hours to complete your tutoring notes and to submit. Complete and submit. Make sure that you submit. Kasi kung sinave mo lang sa draft, hindi siya submitted, eh wala din. Okay? So, meron naman doon, makikita nyo naman kung okay siya, may check mark siya, at saka kung wala, meron siyang exclamation point na red. So, just to remind that you have a pending tutoring note. Okay? Or you have pending tutoring notes. Okay, ganon. And, um, one more thing. Sa, ano pa nga ba yung, um, okay, so, so, yun sa, nakalimutan ko na yung ibang, ano, yung na, ibang sasabihin ko sana, pero, yun for now, yung mga tips, okay, yun for now, yung mga tips na ibibigay ko on how you can increase your bookings. And again, guys, don't be afraid so that we can earn more. Don't be afraid to open your lessons. Japanese people are so kind. Okay, and of course, the tutor support in Rare Job are so kind too. You can always send them a message sa website natin para ma, ma replyan ka nila agad agad. Okay, so I hope these simple tips help you. And please don't um, don't hesitate to send me a message. You can always reach me on Facebook, Richelle Galula, so I can still see your message requests. Na kahit na hindi tayo friends sa Facebook, chine-check ko pa rin yung message requests para make sure na nakakapag-reply ako agad-agad. And sa mga nagko-comments din, thank you very much. I'm also doing my best to respond to your comments. So, I hope na nakatulong tong video ko na to. And thank you guys again for subscribing and thank you so much for trusting my tips. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope you have a nice day and see you in my next video. Bye!